about 70,000 people. For me, here in New York, what can I say more? I'm coming back to Israel with the head up. Coach, yes. Luis Mendez, Cosmovision. On behalf of the Latino community, bienvenido. It is a great honor, not only uh, you know, for any team such as Honduras or any CONCACAF team to play against Israel, the ties between the Hispanic community and Israel obviously are tremendous. That notwithstanding, what's important here is your next World Cup qualifier. Yeah. Obviously, Israel has created a bus based on uh, their last result uh, uh, in the World Cup qualifier. Um, this is obviously a tremendous victory, uh, a moral victory, if you will. But you know the real points come in in the World Cup qualifier. Yes, how, how are you seeing the team perform? Uh, you know, you know, preparing for the next international qualifier. First of all, uh, uh, it was really a moral winning game. Uh, we create our way in the national team. If you saw the games against Portugal, against Northern Ireland, you saw a way that the team is playing. And today the same. Very important for us not to receiving any goals in the last uh, two games. Uh, the defense line players play well. All the players make very good defense. We know in September we have very difficult uh, games. We have a difficult group. The way of Israeli national teams to play as a unit, team game. If we will continue the same way, the results will continue to come. Good luck. Uh, for Mr. Gershon, um, the crowd today, it was probably a, a lot of Honduran fans. Did you expect that kind of thing? In, in, when you came here? Uh, yeah, actually, um, I'm very excited to have a friend uh, play for the Honduras national team. And so he prepared me. He told me that also a lot of uh, people from Honduras uh, nation are going to come. So I think it was like some half, half, half for us and for them. And this is something that makes the atmosphere even more uh, nice. Uh, professor? Um, this is your 100% team, or you have uh, some, uh, you hire some good player? <laughs> <laughs> I, believe, I believe you don't bring the whole team. And you give you a chance to, I think, you have a good, good team. Congratulations. Thank you. First of all, uh, every coach, the best team is the team that playing on the field especially if you are a coach of the national team. But we have another players that some of them injured and some of them, I said to them, don't come to the game because they are running after themselves because of the competition over there of the league and they are tired. But the team that play today, the players that play today, for me, for this moment, they are the best. Awesome. Uh, Coach, could you speak about uh, the goal by Ken Ezra and also the first one uh, in his career for Israel for uh, El Fatsira? Uh, first of all, the, the goal of Ken Ezra, because uh, such of those goals, you are coming to the stadium, no? To, to see goals like this. Uh, Ken Ezra is a quality player. And uh, I'm happy for Shimon Abu Hatzera for the first goal. Uh, in the Israeli national team, he deserved it only because he made defense. You know, when you are a striker and making defense, finally you will score. A, a couple of questions, coach. This? So, is it football or soccer, the way that they call it over here, the most popular sport in your country, in Israel? Yes, of course. And the second one is that it seems the Jewish community over here in New York is much, much bigger than the Hondurans want. Uh, do you think that they didn't want to come to see the match, or what happened? First of all, uh, in our country, football is the most popular, yes, as you said. And second, I don't know, I saw 30,000 people 
blue and white, for me it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> So they <clears throat> kept some players. I know that uh, number 10 didn't play today. Uh, number 14 is excellent player, Carlos Garcia. Uh, 15, Spinoza, excellent player. I know that Figueroa didn't play today. Uh, as I saw them against the United States, as I saw them against Mexico, I don't know why, but I have good feeling for them. Don't deny now, it's just Ariel Arush played well today. Again, he's a young goalie. You have a lot, you know, usually the starter, but could you talk about Arush? And I thought the defense played well. You already talked about how defense and the whole team bought into it. Could you talk about Arush's performance in leading the back line today? First of all, when the defense line and all the defense game of the, of the team playing well, it's helping a lot the, the goalkeeper. And uh, Ariel Arush was very, very concentrated today. He made a very good job. He said one shoe, one goal shoe. And before the game, I said, the field is over there for Ariel Arush to show his uh, quality because uh, I said he had a lot of potential. He made it today. Thank you. 